is Lama Sim Taigun. You can call me in Chinese Shorin. So today I'm gonna talk about uh, Chinese food culture. So Chinese cuisine is a brilliant fact of a Chinese culture, which is proven by the fact that Chinese restaurants are found streets everywhere around the world. Today, the culinary industry is developing even more rapidly uh, than before. A decade ago, Beijing had a few thousands restaurants while today there are over 100,000 restaurants of different size in the city. So now I'm uh, talk about some commons in your restaurants in Chinese food. So like these people regard foods as their habit. For common folks, food is habit. And food the first necessary of a man. Foods like this coil, coils, stem, and rice, oil, salt, sauce, vinegar, and tea. And now I'm gonna talk about the local Chinese food science. It is widely acknowledged that more from the Ming 1368 to 1644 and Sing 1666 to 1911 diagnosed onwards these adults ate school of Kusan respectively from the Shandong, Sichuan, Guangdong, Fujian, Jiangsu, Zhejiang, Hunan as almost every place has its own local specialities. Just a different cousin have gathered in an open place. In big cities like Beijing, Shanghai, Guangzhou are one taste all the familiar and frame dishes from around the country. So guys, so now I'm gonna talk about my first journey of Chinese food. I came to China last year. After coming here, I was really surprised to see Chinese foods. There are so many Chinese foods and that are very different from my country. So basically that was my first problem but day by day, I was trying to adapt myself with Chinese foods and still now, I can eat all Chinese foods now. I already taste some Chinese foods so today, now I'm gonna introduce some Chinese foods uh, that I no, and also some taste it. So that's it. I'm gonna introduce now. So now I'm gonna introduce the Shandong Kusen, consisting of the Jinan Kusen and Jiaodong Kusen. Shandong Kusen, clear, pure, and non greasy, is characterized by its impressive on aroma, freshness, crispiness, and tenderness. Now I want to talk about the Sichuan Kusan. Sichuan, known as a natural storehouse, is also a store of Kusan. Here, each and every restaurant provides delicious yet economic culinary fare. So, its ingredients of the Sichuan Kusan are simple, but the species are quite very different. And definitely, Sichuan uh, Kusan is very delicious. So, now we have some Sichuan uh, Kusan like Gombu Kung Fao Chicken and Tang's family fish head. Now, I am going to do the Guangdong Kusan. This Guangdong is not so far from our Changsha, Hunan, so you can easily go there and we can taste some foods. So, Guangdong Kusan is in Guangzhou province is located in southern China and our Hunan is also southern parts. So with the moderate climate and abundant produce all year round. As one of the earliest port of open foreign trade, the province has differed of the culinary culture with its own characteristics and that has extreme far reaching and influence on other parts of China. So Guangdong's province is very famous and this province 
It's an average sea, so we have a lot, they have a lot of fruits in, and it's very delicious, like Alicia uh, Katechua, it's very rich. So now I also talk about in Chinese some halal food because we have some foreigners coming here. So a lot of food in China is okay, but sometimes they're confused about our food. So we are sometimes searching as Muslims in other regions, uh, halal food restaurants. Uh, so it is very good for us as a foreigner. So in China also have a halal food and this halal food is called Xinjiang Shai. And most of the students in China usually run and offer cheap halal food. And Chinese halal food have proved over 1000 years during the Tang Dynasty when the Hui ethnic minority was prominent. So we are very happy as a foreigners in China, some they are available in halal foods. So we are sometimes taste a lot of halal foods, so most of the we are eating this. And in Consolations, I wanna say the food diversity of the world attack me mass. I like to different food with different culture through the visit some of place of the world and familiar with such place of food. And if I want to say about my Chinese food, especially Hunan Kosai is very delicious because of its spicy aroma, deep colorful foods that I like here and also my country. That's like the same for me. Finally, I must say that I really like Chinese foods and I want to uh, join in different places in China and I want to taste more and more Chinese foods in different places. So that's all about my Chinese food experience. So thank you so much everyone and thank you everybody and also Laoshi for give like a chance to introduce my experience about Chinese foods. Thanks again.